Disasters are increasing, both in frequency and intensity. We must act to prevent their devastating consequences. In Latin America and the Caribbean, many experiences have succeeded in doing so. We have identified five key elements which reduce the impact of disasters and save lives. These elements are part of the Disaster Preparedness Program funded by European Humanitarian Aid. The program is called DIPECO and has been operating in the region for 15 years. 1. Humanitarian actions start before the disaster. The more prepared a community is, the lower the impact of a disaster will be. This can be achieved, for instance, by identifying the threats, creating early warning systems and training response brigades. Also, performing practice drills and protecting the livelihoods of the population. In Haiti, risk reduction is integrated into all humanitarian operations, not only in specific projects, but also within the humanitarian response to disasters like the 2010 earthquake. 2. Humanitarian actions start in the community. The people in the communities and neighborhoods are the first to be able to respond to adversity. To prepare them saves lives. In El Salvador, during Tropical Storm 12E, several communities who had received training on how to face emergencies were able to organize themselves and evacuate in time, thus saving lives. De no, haber, de no haber estado preparados como lo estábamos, el caos hubiera reinado dentro de nuestra comunidad, ya que la tormenta fue algo pues, sumamente grande. Se generó la evacuación, pues todo fue fácil en el sentido de que ya todos estábamos listos para poderlo hacer. 3. All families have the right to live in safe zones and it is the authority's responsibility to guarantee this. De hecho, el año 2011 tuvimos el deslizamiento más grande que se produjo en la ciudad en toda su historia, más de 140 hectáreas que fueron afectadas por un deslizamiento de la ciudad, más de mil viviendas que se vinieron abajo y afortunadamente, por lo menos, sí podemos decir, sin la pérdida de una sola vida humana, gracias al sistema de alerta temprana, gracias al sistema de organización comunitaria que hemos desarrollado. Four, action taken at community level inspires the national level. This creates sustainable results and the appropriation of these by the whole society. Many examples exist. In El Salvador, the early warning system for landslides launched in 2010 during a DIPECO action plan was later adopted by the Ministry of Environment, which committed to expanding the model in other regions of the country. Another interesting example comes from Paraguay, where the government is planning to introduce local and community experiences from a disaster preparedness project called Shake U in its national policies. Ha sido escogida justamente por eso, por la posibilidad que va a ofrecer como plan piloto eh, de que podamos, eh, partiendo desde este, de, desde este punto, eh, a diseñar nuevas políticas, eh, a diseñar nuevas maneras de dar respuesta con y para la comunidad. Moreover, in reducing disaster risk, it is important to support sectors of strategic interest in our societies, such as the health and education systems. In Ecuador, the working model to reduce disaster risk developed in schools in Quito, in the framework of a DIPECO project, has now been adopted by the Ministry of Education, which has allocated a budget of $80 million to expand it to the whole country. 5. Unity brings strength. Let's watch an example in Nicaragua. In order to reduce the risk in the event of an earthquake, the Nicaraguan Red Cross joined up with the Institute of Housing, the Ministry of Transportation and private companies to train and raise awareness among the population about the importance of quality building standards. Another example comes from Dominican Republic, where organizations working on DIPECO projects run a forum for risk management. Currently, this forum is consulted by the government on prevention and risk management, thus allowing the participation of civil society and giving them a voice. These key elements take us to a final result. Communities and authorities better prepared to face disasters. The challenges ahead are many. New trends and humanitarian realities in Latin America and the Caribbean and increasingly urban contexts must be part of our risk analysis.
Both humanitarian action and development actors should fully incorporate disaster risk reduction in their programs, taking into account the lessons learned in the past. Disaster risk reduction is everyone's responsibility. Ours, yours, mine. Act.